All right, Dr. Wittig, let's talk a little bit about advocacy and how people can look at what's going on in the world today, especially in U.S. politics, and see examples of advocacy or rather non-advocacy or not doing it in the right manner. Well, you know, advocacy is critical to a democracy. It's the basis upon which people make decisions about who to vote for, what policies to support, uh, even where to send their kids to school. Uh, but when you have a government committed to sloganeering rather than advocacy, you have real problems. And when the president sets an example by creating an image of false media and using nothing but ad hoc arguments, arguments without support, arguments against the person, ad hominem arguments, and just using labels, and it becomes quite essentially an argument with sloganeers. Who can come up with a slogan that sticks in people's heads the most? And since the average American, unfortunately, pays little attention to what's really going on and listens to the news bites, that becomes the basis of their decisions about policy, about presidents, about congressmen or whoever, even school board members. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem the PR people have to deal with. If they advocate, they've got to advocate with a background of information mm -hmm. so that their point of view has some basis in fact. Not that there, there aren't legitimate conflicting points of view, but let the person choose based on information, not based on slogans. Let the public have yeah. the informed debate exactly. with all sides. Right. You're on it. So That's why... PR ethics. You've got to take it personally. You damn well got to.